Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Spokes, aka Red Beer. Hey, shut up. So, anyway, we're gonna do a start of blind tasting. We'll see how well it goes. But I've got, and this is something that I will, Wes and I will do. This is probably just the start of it. Uh, I'll imagine I'll reuse these same bottles and just top them off and then we'll add to his collection I'll just take them to his house and probably do the same style there's nothing nothing on the outside of the bottle but I've labeled with initials or whatever uh, what is on the inside of the bottle so we're going to try to do this without breaking anything. I should have tailed my beer up, beard up, because it's in the way. And we're going to do seven whiskeys. Hopefully we can figure something out in a timely manner. May or may not. I'm gonna fucking throw something at him. If my elbow didn't hurt so bad, I'd chunk something at her right now. Hey, hey, shut up. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take these out. I and bowed them, so I don't know which one's which. But just to go over what we're gonna try, I've got them lined up here in front of you guys. Hopefully you can see them. We're going to start, we've got regular Wild Turkey 101, we've got Wild Turkey Rare Breed, we've got a regular Russell's Reserve Single Barrel, we've got the Wild Turkey 101 Experiment, and I just want y'all to see how freaking dark this thing is in comparison to Wild Turkey 1. It is much darker than Wild Turkey 1. So it hasn't even been in this jar a month, less than a month now. So we've got a Russell's Reserve single barrel select, a goody goody pick. We got the Russell's Reserve 13 and we got Wild Turkey Masters Keep 1. I, I am going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to take two at a time, do a small dollop Try to keep them separated somehow. Probably should have cleaned off my table here. Probably should have got this set up before I started this. So we'll just line them all up. Funny, you fuck off. Yeah, I probably should have just done this before I started the video. It's alright, guys. We're just gonna we're gonna make do with what we got. We're only gonna do a little bit on each and uh, go from there. This is gonna be a long video. Hope you guys don't mind sticking around. I'm just gonna line them up. I'm gonna go ahead and just taste the first one. Try not to smell it, but just, can you see me? A little hot. Tastes like wild turkey. Probably should have cleaned these glasses. Oh well. All in all, that first glass is really nice. I feel like it might just be wild turkey 101. I don't know. It's like just the regular wild turkey 101. Should have grabbed the water. Taste the second glass. Hey! Bunny! Shut up. <laughs> Second one. 
a little more tame. Not as much going on. That might be the regular wild turkey one on one. I don't know. What I'll probably do is go through the first three. I'm going to do all of them. Don't get me wrong. We're going to get through all of them. But I'm going to go through the first three. Kind of pick my one, two, three in, those, in that fashion. I'm not getting much on the nose, but. A little more body, a little more flavor. So just as I sit right now, I think I'd have to go with the first glass ahead, then the other two. This is going to be incredibly difficult. Yeah, I think I have to go glass number one. And first. And then glass number three and second. I might have already blown my palate out. <laughs> this, might, <laughs> this might be a, a futile undertaking. Be able to pick a winner. Well, I would probably have to go. Yeah, this is going to be incredibly hard. What I probably have to do is do these two at a time. This is just a, a really good example of how hard a blind tasting can be. So, out of those first three, I think I'd have to go with bottle number one, or bottle A, out of the best of those three. Now we've got four left, and I'll probably do them two to two, pick a winner, and then we'll do a overall. So tough. Hey. Yeah, I think I'd have to go glass one. I'm gonna grab a bottle of water real quick, guys. So we're just going to leave them in that order as they sit, and then we're going to test the next two. You get your shit mouth away from here, buddy. We'll test, test, taste, test. Go away! Shit. 
shit now. So we'll put that one there, that one there. Then we're gonna try these two. And what'll more than likely happen, so I can do this with Wes again. <laughs> is I'll just top these bottles back off and eventually take all of the little sample bottles over to his house. Because I'm not going to be able to pick a winner today. This is... I feel like I've... If I had a freaking airsoft pistol right now, I'd be shooting dogs. I feel like that's either the Wild Turkey 1 or the Russell's 13 because it has that older familiar note that I got from like a, an elder bourbon. That's a really good one. Bonnie, you eating shit? That's gonna be a tough one. I feel like this one might be the, I don't, I really can't tell because of the color of it, but it feels like it's got some more depth. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm gonna just set those two off to the side. We're gonna fill up these other two glasses and then we're just gonna have to, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna sit here and drink a bunch of whiskey and try to uh, pick a winner. It's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna try to do it in a timely manner but it may or may not come to fruition. Might have to put more whiskey in these glasses. <laughs> so this is, this is what's difficult, especially about the same family of whiskeys. They're all so similar, but yet slightly different. It's hard to really find, pull apart the nuances. I'm just making stuff up right now. So far, this will probably be the best one. I'm not gonna try to pick a one through seven, but that one was fucking delicious. No burn, no nothing, nice mouthfeel. Just overall, as far as whiskeys go, that's what a bourbon should taste like. I'll, what I'll try to do, I'll try to put them in order, one through seven, as far as how I enjoy them. It's going to be really difficult. I know so far which one I got in first, and possibly which one I got in last. The second bottle and that sixth bottle 
would be my last and first. It smells good too. That was weird. It's got a nutty, funky note on it. But that would probably be second or third, in my opinion. Not quite first place. Number six. Pretty sure it's gonna be my number one pick. We got 14 minutes. <laughs> I try to do these in less than 30 minutes because I don't have to edit. I don't have to combine my videos on my editing software. All right. Well, I'm going to try, which I think will be in last place, glass number two one more time. An extra little splash off in there and mind you like so this is sunday afternoon i just recorded the grapefruit the skull for hopper and i haven't had anything else to drink i've only had breakfast so like as far as my palate being as clean and clear and neutral as possible it's probably the best case scenario Smell-wise, it smells delicious. It's a little more aggressive. It may be in last place. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce through them real quick. I'm just gonna leave the calf off of that. Bonnie, go get him. Go get him. Go get him. That dog almost ran into that fucking trailer. Fellow riding around on his four wheeler, got his dog running, doing sprints right beside him. Now they're all starting to smell the same. Hey! Should have poured a bigger pour, but I didn't expect to have this difficult of a time. Next time, we're going to do two whiskeys, but I didn't have any content loaded up for the week. I'm trying to do stuff. If this video turns out to be real fucking long, I might make it a two-parter. Yeah, now they're all starting to smell like honey. I think can't have any peace and quiet around here guys. Let me try these other two real quick. good the one thing I don't like about hey hey shut up one thing I don't like about this one it's very astringent and drying 
which it doesn't make me salivate. It just literally, it's like how alcohol, <laughs> rubbing alcohol. Hey, shut up. Fuck. For fuck's sake. So that might be my last place. It just completely pulled all the moisture and oil off my tongue. And I'm not a fan of that. Let me put a little more in here. Just a dab, just a touch. We got nine minutes. I'm gonna figure this out in nine minutes, guys. I'm gonna fucking throw something at you, Bonnie. Everything around me is breakable. Oh, it's about to launch something, Bonnie. Oh, you fucking bitch. You gonna get it? Give me a stick. There we go. That's, that's a good stick. That's a good stick. It's not so big where it'll hurt her, but it'll definitely get her attention. She's like, oh shit. You go away from me. That was gonna be like top three. So this guy, this one right here is probably going to be last. Only because of the way it dried everything out. I'm just not a fan of that. It still tastes good. But the astringency, it might have been the rare breed. Seeing that it's, I believe, the highest proof. Yeah, we got 114.8. The rest are 110. And... This one's 101, that's 101, that's 101, so this one's 116. More than likely, that was the rare breed with the highest proof out of the bunch. This is the one that I think is going to be the winner. Yeah, I think that one's winner. Because it has the opposite opposite effect than glass number four. Let me try glass seven one more time. And then I think we'll, we'll probably be done. I think I'll have to go with glass six. Yeah, that one's got a funky nutty note on it. But under this scrutinous inspection, not a fan of it. So I think I'm gonna test a little bit. As far as we got, we got like six minutes. I think last four. Just go eat some shit. Yeah, glass four is going to be my last place. Glass seven would probably be in sixth. So we're gonna rearrange these real quick. And then we're gonna figure it out from last to first. And then 
four minutes. Running out of water. I think I got to figure it out. More than likely, this is a flawed attempt at figuring out what the best wild turkey product I have here in my home. I think going forward, it probably needs to be no more than three whiskeys. But I feel comfortable in this assessment. It may change later. What do I got? Two and a half minutes. So we're going to figure out what's first and last. In last place. I feel like it was the rare breed just because of uh, how astringent it was. It's highly enjoyable, but as far as compared to everything else, it was in last. So in last place, we have. Russell's Reserve, 13 years. Ah, well, it's the second highest proof. And it just, oh man, that's disheartening. It's really, can you not? Can you, can you just go elsewhere? So, in this setting, <laughs> hopefully it, it'll come back. I was hoping Russell's Reserve 13 year was going to be the number one, but the number one pick for this seven whiskey blind tasting of wild turkey products is, oh, the Russell's Reserve single barrel goody goody pick. All right, let's, let's run through. Second place was, second place was Rare Breed. Fucking solid pour. Oh, the third place. Third place was the 101 experiment. I'm going to taste that one real quick. How much time we got? We got about a minute. That one was really fucking good. In fourth place, we have the regular Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. Fifth place, we got Wild Turkey 101. Don't tell me. Holy shit, the last two picks of this blind tasting. Wild Turkey 1 and Russell's Reserve 13, the two most expensive bottles on the list. We're in last. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey. Like the video, subscribe, share with your friends. Hit the bell for notifications. Drink some whiskey, share it with your friends and family. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers.